2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. How are the women supposed to dress according to the Bible? Sister right here, standing right here. How are women supposed to dress according to the Bible? You have an idea? It's all right, it's all right. What about the brother right here? Tap him, Ezekiel. Okay, so you don't want us to say anything. All right. Just, just listen, just listen. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Okay. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. The women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do women wear today that pertaineth unto a man? Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's that belong to men. What could that be, sis? I guess it's pants. You guess? I got them on. Do you have a zipper? Huh? Do you have a zipper? Yes. Are you pulling anything out of that zipper when you use the bathroom? Well, let me ask you a question. Yes, Are you can. Are you here to downgrade me? Are you here to teach me? We're here to teach repentance. Right. So, what, which means what? Which means what? If I see you doing something wrong, what's my job? Oh, to let me know. So now you learned today that a woman shouldn't wear what? I knew that already, pants. But well, you no, said you no. heard about it, yeah. but now you heard it. You heard it out the Bible with scripture. You Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Let's read it again. God shows how women are to dress. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do women wear that belong to men? Pants. 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 But back in the 60s, that wasn't normal. That was not normal to see a woman dressed in men's clothes. So what happened? What happened? Gloria Steinem and the feminist movement happened. Right. Gloria Steinem and the feminist movement happened. Yeah. Woman that said, we got the right to work blue collar jobs. We got the right to wear knickerbockers or pants. The women's feminist movement. And guess what else happened during that time? The lesbian movement hit an increase. Lesbians started coming out of everywhere, all over the place. You understand? Why? Because that movement destroyed the culture of black people. You understand? That movement destroyed our people. Okay, so now, keep reading Deuteronomy 22 and 5. For all that do so are all women that wear pants, God says. Our abomination unto the Lord thy God. God says for all women that wear pants, for all men that dress like women, God says that's an abomination. Right. God says that's filthy. Amen. That's what God says. So what is our sister's job? Put on a skirt. Cover yourselves up. That's right. You understand? This is the laws of God. Isaiah 47. Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 2. We read this scripture earlier that showed how women are to dress. But the pastors are not teaching us. Come on. Isaiah 47 verse 2. Take the millstone and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Uncover the thigh. Make bare the leg. What is that showing? That our sisters had their bodies covered. Our sisters had their bodies covered. That's what that scripture is showing. The Bible is showing that we had order in our culture. But what happened? America happened. We've grown accustomed to this society. Psalms 106 verse 35. Psalms 106 verse 35. But we were mingled among the heathen. But blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians were mingled among the heathen. Come on. And learn their work. We learn their culture. 
we learn their words. That's what the Bible's teaching us. Come on. And they serve their idols. And we serve idols. What's the idol today that we serve? That a uh, Caucasian man portraying himself as Jesus Christ. That's what we serve today. Come on. Which were a snare unto them. Which were a snare unto them. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. One of God's laws is a man should not bald his head. You know? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Read that again. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Read that again. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. One of God's laws is what are we supposed to do as men? Keep your beard. Keep your beard. Okay. Keep your beard. Okay. What did Christ have? A beard. What did all the disciples and the apostles that followed Christ have? A beard. beard. But guess what? What church do you go to? Yeah. Baptist, Pentecostal, what kind of church? Um, 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 I'm non-denominational. Non-denomination. Okay. Did you learn that in the church? I didn't know that. Right. Does a pastor have a beard? He better have a beard. No, no. Why are you thinking about it? You should cut it. He just cut it. <laughs> Right, he's not supposed to, he's supposed to have his beard. So, he, he, the, see me, he see me with a fresh face, and he cut his. Right, right. Because society teaches us we're supposed to be clean shaven. Right. But God right. says no, a man's right. supposed to have a beard. Right. You understand? Right. Because you know what happens when a, you know what happens when a black man grows his beard? They say, hey, are you a Muslim? Right, right. But the Muslims fact. got that from the Bible. Fact. Islam got that from the Bible. That's what? Guess what? Muslims don't eat pork. Islam got not even taught from the Bible. Right. Muhammad copied everything from the scriptures. That's what. You understand? That's why Islam. I love pork though, man. That's what. Right. I love pork though, man. That's what. Right. 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 Nope, sir. You see that? All places. He don't eat the swine. I'm not there he yet. He don't eat the chitlins. I'm not there yet. Let's see. What's it today? What's your name, Charles. 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 What's it today? Leviticus 11 verse 7. And the swine, though eat the body of the hook, and be cloven for it, though and the swine, though he divided the hook. What's your name, brother? What's your name? Shabazz. Shabazz. He's a little shrimp. Okay, okay. okay. Well, we're going to read about it. It says, and the swine. Then he divide the hoof and be cloven for it, yet he chose not to cut. Right. He is unclean to you. The swine is unclean. The swine is unclean. Read on. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So God's, God's law tells us, listen, my people, the Israelites, blacks and Hispanics, I don't want them to eat unclean foods. So what is God showing us? He's showing us a diet. Right. Shabazz, God is showing us a diet. Right. That's what God is showing us. But you know what, Shabazz? You know when black people stop eating pork? When the doctor tells them. The, but the laws of God already told you. And he's going to let us know what in the waters are we supposed to eat. Come on. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the water. Whatsoever have fins and what? Scales. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Now, do shrimp have fins and scales? No. Do lobsters have fins and scales? No. Now, I know what you're thinking about. You're thinking about that Red Lobster commercial. You're thinking about that 25% discount next week, Sunday, on Mother's Day. You're thinking about when it shows the slow motion of that shrimp falling into that sauce. God says it is unclean. Because you know what the commercials do. They put it in slow motion. They put it in slow motion. Come to Red Lobster. Get the 25% discount. And it shows that little shrimp dropping right into that sauce. That what? Lemon butter. Right, that lemon sauce. It's unclean, brother. It's unclean, Shabazz. God gave black people, sister, you listening? God gave us a diet. Now, guess what? Does that mean now? Okay. We can, okay, so we can eat chicken. You know we love chicken. We can eat french fries, what? beef, turkey, lamb. But guess what the Bible teaches us? What? Moderation. Right. Moderation. Everything in moderation. Right. Because what happens if we overeat? 
In fact, you might wait. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Get that scripture now. I want to show you something. Sister, I want you to hear this. Shabazz, Charles, I want you to listen to this now. According to the Bible, we are God's chosen people. Right. We are the Israelites from the tribe of Judah all the way to the tribe of Mephala. Right. That's what? Right. Where's your father from, Charles? Uh, African American? That's the tribe of Judah. Shabazz, where's your father from? African American? That's the tribe of Judah. Sister, where's your father from? Sis, come over here to the front, because I can turn over. Come over here to the front. Where, where's your father from, sis? He's from here, but he's African American. African American? That's the tribe of Judah. God taught our people diet, dress code, ceremonies, what to celebrate, civil laws, how to deal with one another. I want to show you something. Go to Jeremiah 10 and verse 2. Brother right there listening to you, listen to the scripture. In the church, they don't read this. Why? Because in the church, it's all about the dollar dollar bill, y'all. Right, right. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Listen to this. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Jeremiah 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. The heathen means other nations. Other nations outside the nation of Israel. Now let me ask you a question. Are you a child of God? Sister, are you a child of God? Yes, I am. 100%. Brother Shabazz, are you a child of God? Okay, he said no. Now, the, the, a clip sign does not mean you're a child of God. The clip sign does not mean you're a child of God. Throwing up seeds is not about no child of God. Throwing up blood signs is not no child of God. You understand? That gangster stuff don't work. Our job is to teach the laws of God. That's right. Listen, now let me show you something. Let me show you. Let me show you something. If you are a child of God, Charles, which one are you? Where do you come from? If you're a child of God, sister says she's a child of God, where do you come from? Teach me, brother, teach me. Okay, okay, okay. Now, go to Deuteronomy 32, 26. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. I said, I would scatter them. If God said, I would scatter them. God said, I would scatter them. I want you all to listen good because we're reading black history. Read it again. I said, I would scatter them into corners. I would scatter them, the Israelites, into corners. Usually there's four corners, which means the world. God scattered us all across the world. Right. God scattered us all across the world. How did God scatter his people, blacks and Hispanics? Slave ships. Come on. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. God now says, I'm going to make the remembrance of who they truly are to cease, to stop. That's why today, you know what we say? I'm African American. I'm a child of God. I'm Muslim. I'm, I'm Jamaican. I'm Trinidad. We are all so confused. I'm sitting here still confused. That's why I want to show you in the scriptures. what I got to do. All right. All right. Listen, take uh, a flyer. I give us a call. Watch our videos, all right? Oh, you got it, brother. All praises. I definitely will. Now, we're all confused. We're confused in who we are and who our nationality is. Come on. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. To cease from among men. So now, one more scripture before we close out. How do we know? How do we figure out who we are according to the Bible? Job chapter 8 verse 8. Right before we close out. Job chapter 8 verse 8. Because in the Christian church, they will not teach us our nationality. Right. They will not teach us our race. Right. That's why a lot of black men are leaving the church. Right. Because they're like, how long am I just going to sit here and clap my hands? How long am I just going to sit and say I'm a child of God? We learn to be women in the church. Right. Right. That's why who's always dragging black men to church? The woman. The woman. For woman. This is what the Bible says about our race. Come on. Job 8 verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. God says, inquire of the former age. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. And prepare thyself to the search of your fathers. We have to know who our fathers are, Brother Shabazz. And our fathers are right here on the side, these pictures. Our fathers are the men of the slave trade. These are our fathers. Our fathers, our fathers built this country. Right, right. Our fathers built this country. 
And guess what happened? We were never given wages. We were never paid for what we did. And guess what they say now? Even though we built the country, guess what they say? Black men are lazy. Black men, oh, we work. Some black men got three jobs, four jobs. It's not just the Jamaicans. We built the country. But you know what? The black men say, you know what? I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. Give me Jeremiah 22, verse 13. Right before we close out. Jeremiah 22, verse 13. We built the country. We built the White House. And what happened? We were called a nigga. Right. And what do you see on TV? You see our sisters shaking their behind. You see brothers having sex with a woman, not dealing with them. They always portray black people in the media as low. Immoral. You understand? When that shooting happened, Shabazz and Brother I don't know if you remember in the news, the young man who shot those people in Florida at the high school. He shot those people in Florida. You know when that happens, that's breaking news. It's all over. Guess what the front page was on Chicago newspaper? It was a black man that shot a police officer. And it's like, wait, 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 hold on. Didn't that white guy just shoot 17 people? How did the black man make front cover? Right. It's called hatred. Right. America wants us to be hated. And they want us to what? Hate ourselves. Right. Right. Let's read this. Jeremiah 22, 13. Bring it up. Jeremiah 22, 13. Woe unto him that filleth his house by unrighteousness. How was America built? By unrighteousness. By the backs of slaves. Read. And his chambers by wrong. And his chambers by wrong. What are his chambers? The White House. Right. The Capitol. His chambers by law, come on. That use, useth his neighbor's service. That useth his neighbor's service. Who was the white man's neighbor? The black man, the Puerto Rican man, the Dominican man, the Cuban man. But they use these men's service. We, without wages. They never gave us 40 acres in a mule. They never gave us any reimbursement. Right. They never set us up with a plot of land. What is that called? Free slave labor. Right. And it was Bible prophecy. Right. Read on. And giveth him not for his work. And giveth him not for his work. Come on. That said, I will build me a wide house and Lord's chambers and cut him out windows. Now that's all I wanted. This shows you who we are, all right? Now wherever you are, if you know organizations, take us there. We'll give seminars there. We're traveling all over the world to teach our people in West Africa, in the Middle East, throughout the islands. We're going out teaching repentance. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.